Welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. Joined by my partner, Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. Game one is always critical in a postseason series, Singy. Yeah, and this is when you love having home field advantage, Boog. If you capture game one, you're full of confidence that you've got a chance to ride that momentum for the rest of the series. And on the visiting side, starting pitching is always the big key in a game like this to kick off a series. Yeah, you need a strong performance on the mound. That's the number one way to cancel out the home field edge we just mentioned. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Here's Dylan Moore. Leading off tonight for Seattle. The third base here. And here it comes. Swing and a ball popped up. One up, one down. The second base. Here's a big power threat. Number nine. Not shortstop. Ray back to work. Foul ball there. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning. Oh, this ball is crushed into left field. It's on its way and gone. That'll fire up the dugout, and they slice into the lead. It's 2-1. Another look at one of the most impressive home runs you'll ever see as StatCast gives us the full picture. Yeah, projected more than 480 feet on its way over the fence, and I don't think we could watch. Welcome back. We All set for the here, start right? of the inning. Now, Dylan Moore. Dylan. Bueller Moore. back to work. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Throws to first. And a quick out, number one. Now that second base. Base is empty with two away. So next up for Houston, number nine. He's already homered in this game. And there's a foul ball. Well, that's where you want to be right there, all over that first pitch fastball. Just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. Hammers that one deep left field, and forget it.
He flexes his power with that swing. His second home run of the game, it's 5-2. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Number nine, the next to hit. Coming off an absolute bomb in his last at bat. In the air, well hit. No doubt about it. It is gone. Grand slam. He's done it again. That's his third home run of the game. And they boost their lead. It's 10-2. to So first and second with one man gone. And next to hit for Houston, number nine. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. An absolutely majestic shot. His fourth home run of the game. And they tack on to their lead. It's 14-2. Now he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat and watch it go a long way. Wow, this is awesome. I mean, a four-homer game, they're just so rare. They're so special and just so tough to pull off as well. Everything has to line up. Here's Jerry Kelnick, one for two, the two-one. Oh, that hit him. Slings the first. That's the first out the top of the seventh. One out, base is empty. And now for Seattle, Ty France. Out to short. Play is made, two out. Oh, we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand. The way it comes out of his hand as an infielder. And it's second with one away. And next will be the cleanup hitter. Number nine. This one drilled to left. No doubt about it as they add on more. Gone. A two-run homer, and they add a couple more. It's 16 to 5. Unreal. Absolutely unreal, Boo. I mean, this is an all-time performance right here. Five home runs in a single game? Are you kidding me? This is something we're never going to forget. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. Now it's the Mariners' DH, Dominic Canzone. On the ground to short, and that one finds its way through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And a ground ball to first. Nice stop. The throw on the money. Nice play. On to first. Safe. So they get one, but a... It's pretty early in this series to say a must-win game. But when you've got home field advantage, it's a luxury, but you have to protect it. Huge win in game one to set the tone. Well, Singy, it wasn't pretty, but here's another look at the final line. Yeah, Boog, this one wasn't close. Not a lot of drama at the end either, and you just don't see a lot of blowouts in the postseason. Well, this one ends in a blowout for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chomby. Talk to you soon. Time at the ball game. Four out.
And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Seattle Mariners taking on the Houston Astros. John Chabby and Chris Singleton on the call. And a lot riding on this one as these teams meet for game two, Chris. Yeah, this might be the game to actually decide. So just about set now. And starting in this one, from Valdez. What should we keep an eye on here? He really relies on working down in the zone with that heavy sinker he's got. You know, it's not as popular to throw that pitch uh, today as it used to be because you know, guys are looking to hit balls down in the zone, get them up in the air. It's very important for him when facing same side hitters to be able to get it in, especially early in the count, and to opposite guys be able to throw it at that front hip and run it over the inside corner. Here comes the 0-1. Hammered on a line in a left base hit. They fired in quickly, so it's first and second with only one away. Yaner Diaz. Up next. And welcome back. Ready to go, bottom four. And here now is the Astros cleanup hitter, number nine. This one blasted deep to left. Way! Out of here, home run. This place is absolutely loving it, and this game is tied. It's 2 2. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct. Now, Number now, nine now. up next Number for the nine. Astros. He's already homered here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. He sends it out of here. Just like that, they move in front. It's 3-2. Singy, this was a mammoth home run over 460 feet, according to StatCast. You know, Boo, there are only maybe 20 or so guys in the game that can hit a base. So two away with nobody on. And now the DH, number nine. That one is absolutely belted. This one's got a chance. His third home run of the game, and they add on. It's 4-2. Chris, he's homered in back-to-back -back games now. Yep, seeing the ball well, and he's got his timing locked in. He's looking pretty dangerous at the dish right now. Wow, he's putting on an absolute show in this one, and this is what you call taking care of business. When you've got home field advantage and you win the first two games of the series, that's what you come to the ballpark to do. They've worked hard to get to this point. Now they're in the driver's seat. We'll see how they do once this series continues. But so. Welcome, thanks for joining us. MLB The Show brings you the American League Division Series. It's the Houston Astros taking on the Seattle Mariners. Along with my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Shambi. We're looking forward to what's sure to be a dramatic Game 3, Chris. Well, it's a lot to ask a team to come back from down 2-0, but it's been done before, and... 
I know they're not lacking in confidence, even in this tough situation, but it all starts with getting off to a good start in this one. And when you're the team that holds the 2-0 edge in a five-game series, you want to end the series right now. Absolutely. Avoid any drama or doubt and finish the job. First pitch coming your way next. Just about to get started, and on the hill, Logan Gilbert. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand, and because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch, and before they know it, they're swinging over the top of that curveball. Bottom of the first, and stepping in for the Mariners, Dylan Moore. Swing and a miss. Going one. Ground ball up the middle to first. One up, one down. Batting second. The second base. Digging in. Number 43. That's in there. And it's 0 1. First pitch changeup. He gets a called strike. You got to really know who that hitter is at the plate in order to throw that pitch again and again. Left hand hitter waits. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And the right-hander deals. Goes down looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. 0-2 oh, as he waves at that one. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. An inning in the books tonight. And we're scoreless here on the show. Welcome back. Bottom of the second. And the batter now. Cal Raleigh. The pitch. And that one just missed off the outside edge. And that's in for a strike. One Man, ball. 91 on the slider right there. That's a hard one. That's a low end fastball for some guys. One ball. Swing and a miss. One and two. Swings through it for the K. Had him out front for strike three. Back to back curveballs and back to back whiffs. And I'll tell you what, that's having a feel for what you can beat a hitter with. And clearly, he wasn't picking up that breaking ball at all. JP Crawford now at the plate as he swings through strike one. That's in there, and it's 0-2. Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Got him swinging. Well, he's really dialed in, and this offense is going to have to do something to try to break that rhythm. Maybe it's square around the ball and step out of the box. Agitate him a little bit. Do something that just changes what's happening right now because at this pace, it's going to be a long game, so you got to figure it out quickly. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Next offering is fouled back. Kicks and fires. Twings and misses. It's a strikeout. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Nobody left for Seattle. We'll move to the third with no score. Back here at the ballpark, here's Jerry Kelnick. No left field. Kelnick in his fourth year, hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he's one of the few players in Major League Baseball born in Wisconsin. The pitch. There's the strike. Bringing the cheese on that one.
ground ball left side low throw and he can't take it out and now Ty France and that one fouled off Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 now. Nobody out. Runner at first. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Makes the catch and there's one gone. In now is the Mariners DH. Dominic Canzone. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Canzone, 27 years old, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2019. Just a bit late on that 0-1 breaking ball. 0-2 hole now. He's going to have to shorten up, tighten things up if he's going to have a good at bat. Got it by him for the K. Oh, there he gets the slider in on his hands, and it just eats him off. You know, it's hard to get the bat around on a pitch like that in tight. You just feel like you're crowded on the inside part of the plate. Can't get any extension. That's what he definitely should have laid off of. And strike two. Kelman off of first with two away. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Sets him down looking. Fastball to letters. Throws him for strike three. Mariners leave one. Still no. And welcome back. Now the number two hitter. Number 43. The second base. And there's the strike. Well, these Mariners, as you probably noticed, haven't been shy at the plate at all. In fact, they've probably been too aggressive at times. I'm specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Right-hander kicks deals. Registers the punch out and hits 101. Finished him off by blowing it by him up high, but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch up. The plan of attack early on was to keep everything down around the knees, so that was a good call to change his eye level and run it by him for the K. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Struck out on just three pitches last time. And a good fastball to start him off at strike one. Swings and misses. And the count is 0-2. Well, this can be kind of frustrating for the hitting coach. Right now, this lineup seems to be swinging at everything. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Well, there's a three-pitch strikeout. He can do whatever he wants with the baseball right now. Raleigh at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. Offense held in check there. We played four. It's Welcome back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Here's the shortstop at the play. J.P. Crawford. The pitch. Swings through that one for strike one. These guys have been very aggressive early in the count, but when you're down, you might want to be a little more patient. Take some pitches, see if you can extend those at bats and get some base runners off. Next offering misses, and it's one and two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. Swing and a miss. And that's strike one. That one missed. Swing and a miss. And the count, one and two. The Mariners yet to pick up a hit here. Strike three. Got him looking on the changeup. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kellner. He's 0 for 1. And first offering is fouled off.
Looking sharp just to strike away from five shutout innings. Just no. missed the inside no. corner. It's a ball and two strikes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. They're down one. Back here at the ballpark, bottom of the sixth inning. And now for Seattle, Ty France. And that's in for a strike. When a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what he's offering that day. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. The M's hitless so far in the game. Swing and a miss. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Swing and a miss struck him out. A big performance on the mound. Lots of strikeouts. That was number 14. Yeah, clearly trusted his stuff in this one, Boo. Feeling really good about what he's working with. And that really allows a guy to attack hitters. You know, such an important mindset to have out there on the mound, especially when you're ahead in the count with two strikes. And up next for Seattle, number 43. Going one. Well, with the tie and run at first base, he's looking for something he can get a lot of barrel on. Drive it into a gap and score that run from first base. At the belt and fires. Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98, but a really good pass at the ball. Throw to first. Moore gets back easily. Wow, he got away with a mistake right there. Here's the 0-2. And there's a ball. Moore leads off first with two down to the inning. Popped up. And the inning is over. Bottom of the seventh. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. Off the mark there. Ball one. Definitely a frustrating day for the offense, but when they look at it, this guy's had his best stuff. With paint in the corners, working on the edges and changing speeds. Just a difficult one. You tip your cap. Mm. Just misses there. Foul ball. Another 2-2 upcoming. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Gassed it right by him. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all of the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick because word will get around the league in a hurry. Got him. It could work there as he gets a one, two, three. Mariners go down quietly there, still behind by a count of one to nothing. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now it's the right fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. It's a strike. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Swing and a miss. And the count is 0-2. So impressive how the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Got him swinging for the K. Some high cheese for strike three. Well, tough night at the dish. Punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable with the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now. Not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. 0-2. Oh, 
two as he waves at that one. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. I got to think that was the plan all the way. He set him up with a high fastball and then bury that curveball down low to get him swinging. Now, especially with how effective pitchers work up in the zone these days, that's a devastating combination. Next to hit, Ty France. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. McCormick makes the grab, and that's the inning. And welcome back. Now it's the DH, Dominic Panzone. Pitch misses inside. Ball one. And a swing and a miss. Swings and misses. Going to count one and two. In there. Sets him down on strikes. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Back to the top of the Seattle order. Here's Dylan Moore. And that's in for a strike. Get a little frustrated with the strike zone. There's a strike. Swing and a miss. That's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting the spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. Number 43 in the box now. Take strike one. Swing and a miss. Oh, with two down. Just not able to catch up to that velocity. And that is it. They are headed for the ALCS. Thank mm -hmm. you. 